Hello everybody, Mr. Fun Guy 64 here and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot. Last time we made uh, we made our headway on the second island. Got our first colored gem and beat the second boss, Ripper Roo. And let's head on to the Temple Ruins. Uh follow the trail of Wumpa Fruit. Missing okay. Ah, this stage. Another new stage theme. Uh oh. Alright, I didn't mean to... I, I actually didn't mean to die. <laughs> I, I meant to... I meant to do... Alright. Ah. What? Okay. Alright, alright. Perspective's throwing me off a bit. Alright. Oh, I almost overjumped it again. Ah. There we go. Now we're good. Let's jump. Falling platforms, cobras. Woo. Very ominous temple setting. I'm not, I keep deciding, oh. I keep, uh, uh oh. I keep, <laughs> I keep debating on whether or not on this level I want to use the D-pad. Or the analog stick. I think I'm gonna use the D-pad because it's very thin on the pathways. Good thing we just got a checkpoint. Snake. Get those wumpa fruits back. Alright. Ah! Ah. Alright. The bats. I like, I like, uh, this level theme. It's got a nice... Oh, I almost jumped. I thought they were done. I didn't look up again. I just heard them stop. Stop the noise. It's fine. There's a lot of level themes. I almost overjumped that again. Whew. A lot of themes in the first Crash game that don't come back ever. And it's a little, it's a bit of a shame because they look... They look neat, and I feel like there's more they could have done with some of them. One of which uh, is actually coming up soon, I believe. I'm a, I'll wait for the bats. Bats? No, no bats. All right. Um. Uh, what was I gonna say? I, 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 you know, I had something planned, and I lost it. Let's hop on this platform over here. I might head back to the D-pad, because, er, analog stick. Well, maybe not. Oh, I thought I, got, I went a bit too early there. Alright. How many boxes are in? Uh, 67. That's not bad. Another cobra behind the spike trap. I see that sconce. You won't, you won't flame me. Yeah, these temples are full, chock full of dangerous terrain, that's for sure. Alright. Get another, get another mask going. Oh! That was definitely a late... Oh, okay. Yep. How far back? Oh, only here? Alright. And go. There we go. <laughs> and go. All right. That was that was great. All right. Uh oh. Uh, good thing platforms that fall away will eventually come back. But while I'm here, um, there we go. Let's time it right this time. There we go. Oh, and like the hint said. Follow the. I don't want. I don't want to talk about it. I thought the platforms were bigger, but no, they're just metal crates. Oh, whatever. It's fine. All right. All right. Follow the wampa fruit. 
I'm not sure if there's ever any actual gaps. Alright. Woo! Made it over here. Ugh. What was I saying? Right, level themes. Uh, yeah, this one, the, that, the wall, the gate ones. We've had a few gate levels before. I'm not the biggest fan of those. Usually they're just because they're a little long. There's ones we haven't seen yet that... I don't know, I feel like they could have brought them, brought them back under a new... In, 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 oh, are you for real? I mean, temples... Alright. 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 <laughs> what, what, what's happening here, me? I need to take a long look. Alright. Focus. Focus and go. Alright. Let's do this the correct way. Wait for the bats. Oh, now the bats aren't showing up. That's... I don't know. I think there's a... It's just a timing thing. Alright. Alright. Back again. And I'm gonna deliberately do this because I want all the Wumpa fruit I can get to make up for the past few... Uh, that'll do. Yeah, I made up for one failure. Alright. Patience. Go. There we go. We I almost overjumped this box. I don't know why. I keep doing that. Alright. Alright. No more of that. Huh. <sighs> okay. I see the timing. Oh, not these platforms. Oh! Come on, man. Oh, uh, now they're now they're giving me pity. Oh well. I know some people complain about the pity, and I definitely would prefer if they had like a. <laughs> Especially with uh, it this being a remake, you know, I'd prefer it if there if there was like an added uh, like toggle or something. Um, maybe if we ever get another Crash Bandicoot game, they'll have that as a feature there, but who knows. Um, because apparently there was a Crash 5 in the works recently, uh, but I think it got cancelled. I take this with a, with a grain of salt, because I'm, I'm no, I'm no professional, I don't know what's, that's just what I heard, so take it with a grain of salt. Because uh, although I never have beaten Crash 4, I did enjoy it, and I'd love to see more from the... Was it Toys for Bob who did it? Oh, no. In the middle here. Oh, a glorious checkpoint and a spider. Oh, and another one of these platforms. we got to be almost... Oh, yeah, we're almost done. In fact, this is probably the final stretch right here. Oh, what is this? Okay. Alright. Uh. Whew. But I mean, as someone who played the Crash games, at least some of them growing up, not the first one though, It's it, it was a thing from the game, so you know, on one hand, it would be cool if there was an option, on the other hand, you know, they're, they're being faithful. Grab that gem. One last, one last death trap before the end. There we go. Temple. Perfectly rated. Six gems down. 20 to go. It's still no keys yet, but we haven't seen what will the, the third type of bonus stage, which is what gives us keys. Uh, I don't remember what level we first get one of those. Ah, speaking of levels. Road to Nowhere. This is a, an infamous level theme. Direct attacks don't hurt these high altitude hogs. That'll that'll make sense later. Um, welcome to the bridge level. 
the first of two, I believe. I think it's only two. And these levels are pretty, pretty simple concept-wise. Oh, oh well, I had a mask. Uh, the normal-looking planks don't break. The ones that are already broken will break almost immediately. The normal red ones will break away once again almost almost instantaneously. Uh, and then there's another type of plank, and these are the high altitude hogs. Uh, we cannot, we can only jump over them, but once we jump over them, they stop moving. And icy ones, they slip and slide. Yeah, that's it. That's all there is to these levels. Uh, people, they're definitely on the more challenging side for a lot of people, myself included. Especially the second one. They get a little, they get a little too creative. Come on. Uh, and it's all, but it's all just precise. It's, pre it's precision is what it is. But I actually really enjoy these levels because it's so challenging. You know? Ah, uh, we needed the red gem. What a shame. I think that's red. When they're faint, it's hard to tell. Like I mentioned when we got the green gem, I'm not going to go back until... Uh, until we have all six color gems. Now there is a trick where you can get on top of the on top of the rope and kind of skip a section, uh, but I'm not gonna do that. Makes it too easy. Unless I get fed up and it's like, ah, uh, for the sake of time, I'll try. But I'm actually not really that good at that trick. I prefer just taking it easy, going across the pieces. Careful. And with a bit of precision, we made it to the bonus game. So now we got turtles to deal with. This is when they get. This is why I say when they get a little cre uh, creative. Boink. Yep. Boink. A little chain reaction to get us over the wall. Uh, one last bounce. Ah. Uh, and that's nine boxes. Let's get out of here. Simple bonus. The ton of, ton of bonuses are never that bad. We're already almost done with the stage. We've got 31 crates. The turtle. And what they want you to do is this. Bounce. Uh. <laughs> and then, uh... A lot of people don't really... Re you know, I almost went through this level with, without, a, without a hitch. I've had a single problem, and then I and then I do that. All right, all right. Pew! I feel like a lot of people don't. When they, uh, back when this game came out, a lot of creators definitely wanted to be like, "Hey, uh, there's a lot of hype surrounded by it. Let me make a video or two. I feel like a lot of people definitely didn't understand that, which is fair. They don't tell you. But overall, I don't think the bridge levels are really that bad. There's a there's a level theme that we'll get to that I think is much worse. Uh, <laughs> but that's... I don't think we see that for a while. Boulder Dash is the name of this level. Purple Gem. Alright, so we can't get all the boxes. Ah. But, as the name would imply, and the camera would imply, uh, we're running again. It's Indiana Jones time. Uh, what time, how long have we been going? Well, this is, uh, well, depending on how long this level takes me, it's, these levels usually aren't too bad. Although, this is the second boulder level, so they're going to get a little more creative, as you can see with the moving platform. And the boulder's impressive ability to... Well, I mean, I guess the pit's not that big. The platforms are perfectly spaced. It's physics or something. I don't know. 
I was always good at science and math, but when I'm running from a boulder, I can't really think of stuff like that too much right now. I mean, these levels are Crash Bandicoot iconic. I feel like, I mean, I feel like a lot of people, when they think of Crash Bandicoot, if they know anything of the series, ooh, uh, it's these levels. Hopefully I'm far away enough. I don't think they're, yeah, there we go. I mean, it was something... I mean, Crash came out uh, at a time 3D games were new. Well, 3D console games. I think Ar arcade games surely did something 3D. I don't know. Uh, I know more... Oh. My history of gaming is more... Nintendo related and related to things that I played, like Crash Bandicoot, for instance. And you know, it was it was a time that I wish I could have been alive for, but I wasn't. wasn't born yet. But I still played some of these games nonetheless, and I in a sense played a bunch of games before my time, and I have enjoyed a lot of what I've played in my spare time. Yeah. There's gaining. All right. Whew. That'll do. That'll do. Uh. Well, depending on the what level is next, we might have time for it. Wow. How many boxes were in that purple gem path? Eight. Well, eighteen apparently. Because I hit every box. I'm fairly sure. I'm fairly sure. Sunset vi- yeah, no. <laughs> this is the next time on Crash Bandicoot, Sunset Vista, because I know this is a long level. Uh, and as you see, our first key opportunity. Um, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I know better. Uh, until then, remember to stay positive, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.